What's going on guys and girls in today's video I'll be showing you how I ranked number one on Google and won the featured snippet using AI so let's go ahead and get started as you can see this is an article in which I wrote for a client that I work with and they are not only ranking number one they actually won the snippet so let's do some reverse engineering to see what I did in order to rank for this specific keyword. If we take a look at this keyword in Ahrefs, average down payment on a house in Ontario, it has a KD of five, cost to build a house in Ontario, again, a KD of five. And as you can see here, we're ranking number one. So you need to start doing your keyword research correctly or else it'll be hard for you to rank. You can't necessarily go after a tough keyword and expect to rank right away. If you're a newer website, if you have some authority within your space, you've built some backlinks, then maybe you can go after harder keywords. But as you can see here, even though um, uh, this is a small search volume keyword, we are still getting a decent amount of traffic and we are ranking number one. So we're also ranking number one for a couple of other keywords. Um, that is, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we are ranking for some variations of this keyword. So what is the average down payment of a house in Ontario? Average down payment. And then we're also ranking number three for this keyword, which is getting a mortgage while on disability in Canada. So again, let's go ahead and take a look at this keyword. Again, keyword uh, difficulty zero, not a very a lot of search volume. But again, if you're ranking for a lot of these smaller keywords, then it'll be easier for you to actually get some traffic at the beginning when you're uh, creating your website and you can build from there. You need to start with the smaller keywords, the lesser traffic keywords, write really, really good articles, and then uh, you, you can go after those harder keywords. So again, let's go ahead and take a look at the article that we wrote. As you can see, it is a very, very good article. It's on the average down payment of a house in Ontario, obviously, because that is the um, topic. But what I did here was, and I showed you guys how to do this in a previous video, where I showed you how to create interactive HTML elements using Claude. So for example, I created a Ontario down payment calculator. So let's say we wanted to calculate our down payment. So our purchase price would be 500,000. Let's say we're putting a down payment of 10% and the interest rate is 6%, right? We're gonna get this loan for let's say 30 years and we're gonna calculate it. So the down payment would be 50 grand, the mortgage amount would be 450,000 and our insurance would be 13,000, total mortgage amount and the mortgage monthly payment would be $2,700. So again, we can go ahead and play around with these numbers. We can change this up as we like. Do I think that this is the reason why this article ranked? I think it has a big factor in it. Um, the article was already ranking pretty decently, but then when I added this, we shot up to number one. So I think that when you add these HTML elements, this allows you to rank higher because think about it logically, right? If someone comes onto this website, yes, they may read the article. They'll stay for maybe you know two seconds or whatever. But now if we have a calculator, they'll probably start playing around with it. They'll say, okay, 300,000, 10%, how much would that be? That's 26.1, blah, blah, blah. How much would that be, right? Or maybe they go onto another website, they find the property price, and then they actually do some calculations, right? So this is really, really cool and really interactive, and it's actually not that hard for you to create. Again, all you have to do is use Claude when you're creating your content, ask it to create an HTML element um, that's simple enough to paste into WordPress, copy over the code and paste it into your um, blog, and you'll be able to create a down payment calculator or any type of calculator that you like. Again, I'll leave a link for that video in which I created in the description below so you guys can check it out uh, in its entirety. So this is the article now. This is the written article. And we see here, this is what Google was able to pull in order for us to get that snippet. Now, I didn't do anything fancy on this article. I think I just wrote a really, really good article. It's pretty in-depth um, for this specific topic. I never um, formatted it to be schema marked up for the um, snippets, but Google, thought that it was a really good article and it was able to um, take that um, information and rank us number one and give us a snippet for this specific keyword. So again, this is the process that you guys need to follow. Don't put your article or put your keyword into some article generator tool and that spits out generic content and expect that to rank. It will not rank. You need to follow a method like this or any methods that I show you guys on this channel. So that's one of the articles in which we wrote. Um, again, so this is the second article, which is getting a mortgage while on disability. I think this one is a fairly simple article. We do have a couple of tables included in here. As you can see, not a very large article by any means, but we did really good keyword research. I think that is what allowed us to rank on Google.
yeah, it's only about a thousand words. So word length doesn't really matter. It's a quality of the content in which you're creating. Now I wanna go show you guys another example. This is another example of an article in which you're ranking in the top 10 for. This is number eight for this keyword, how much per square foot to build a house in Ontario. Again, very, very simple article. And as you can see, these articles rank. AI content definitely ranks on Google, but I recommend using Claude 3.5 and I recommend following a really, really good process to help you get really good outputs and including HTML elements if you can. And I'll show you guys one other example, which is a newer client that we've been working with. And as you can see here, this is a keyword that has a difficulty of five, 2.4K volume, and we're already ranking 15th for this article. And I probably put this article up less than a week ago, maybe, and it's already ranking. Um, we're probably gonna break the top 10 once I you know, optimize it a little bit more, maybe add in another HTML element. But what happens when you, when Medicare stops paying for your nursing care home, that is the keyword, as you can see, really, really in-depth article. And again, I follow the same methods that I show you guys on this channel using Claude specifically. So what I can do to improve this article is probably add some internal and some external links. I can include some images and I can also include an HTML element. So overall, this is about 2,600 words, a really, really in-depth article. Um, I do recommend if you're going after a, a, a bigger search term or a harder search term to write a really in-depth article so we will see that you know, you've know you covered that topic in-depthly, right? So those are a couple of ways in which you guys can rank on Google. And these are a couple examples of AI content ranking on Google. So AI content definitely ranks, but what you need to do is you need to do good keyword research, you need to also create the best quality content. You need to include images, do your proper on-page optimization, and include HTML elements when you can. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.